Hey guys! Okay, so today I have my October favorites, and I guess I will just jump right into it because even though I don't feel like I have a lot of products, the videos always seem to be like 15 minutes long. So, I'm just going to jump right into it, and starting with my favorite fragrance for this month. My favorite fragrance has been the new Victoria's Secret Night Perfume, and I just have the little vial of it because we get like free sample vials at work so this is uh, it smells so good it's a great scent for fall and winter and it has like I don't even know how to describe it it's supposed to be like Paris at night is supposed to be like the whole backstory of the fragrance um, but yeah, it smells really good, and I've been wearing it quite a bit this month. And I only spray it on my wrist because it is kind of a stronger scent. So if I was to put it on my neck and my wrist, or just my neck, I'm pretty sure I'd get a headache from it. But I'm fine with it just on my wrist. Um, it lasts just as long, and I still can smell it on me, but it wouldn't be as strong as if I had it on my neck. Um, but... It kind of also reminds me of a scent from when I worked at Hollister a long time ago. And I can't put my finger on what scent it was, but it kind of resembles one of their um, perfumes. So, yeah, that is my favorite scent for the month. Now on to nail polish. At the beginning of the month, I was wearing Wrapped in Rubies by Essie which is this gorgeous deep red that has like a golden coppery sheen to it. It's super pretty and I pretty much had this on my toenails for like the whole month. It's just so pretty. So great fall and winter scent, scent, <laughs> color for this year. I've really been liking that as well as about ever since... I think I got my Ipsy bag a week or two ago, and we received Zoya nail polishes. So the one I got was Neve, and it kind of looks purple in the bottle, like a really deep purple, but then when you paint it on your nails, it's definitely more of a blue. But it looks like this, and it's just so pretty. I had it on my nails the past two weeks and it's just so pretty absolutely love this color i kind of wish i would have gotten the is it mason the purple one but i actually don't have a color like this so um, i'm glad i got that and now currently on my nails and my toenails i have pinks forever young on my toenails which is such a pretty, nice, muted purple. I just absolutely love this color. It's my first time wearing it, and I'm obsessed. It's so nice. It takes two coats to get a nice, opaque coat, and I know we still have these available in our stores. Um, you'd have to ha be near a location that actually has a pink store, or you probably can order these online, I would suspect. So, I've really been liking that. And the other one that I have currently on my fingernails right now, which is a gorgeous purple, is the Victoria's Secret Devilish color. And unfortunately, they don't have this one anymore because um, they put all their nail polishes in new packaging because of this reason right here. Like the top part just comes off. So, they have new packaging for their VS nail polishes, but it's just a, such a pretty purple. And I know there's other purples out there kind of like it, like by Soya or Essie or OPI. I'm sure one of them makes a similar color. Um, I really like it because it's a deep, dark purple, but you still can tell it's purple. Like, you, it's not so dark that you can't tell it's purple. So, I've really been liking those nail polishes this month. Now, on to makeup. 
So for face products, I have three favorites. One is my Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this one is in translucent. And you get so much product. And it's like $7 at the drugstore, somewhere around there. And I love it because it sets everything without it looking cakey or it just feels really light on the skin, which I really like. So I've been loving that as well as my Stila Highlight in Kitten. And basically I go between this one and my Dior uh, Amber Diamonds, I think it is, highlight. Um, because this one's more of like a, gives more of like a s silvery white kind of highlight, if that makes sense, or pinky highlight. Whereas the Amber Diamond one from Dior gives a golden highlight. So, depending on the look that I'm doing, um, will determine which one I go towards. But I've actually been using this one a lot more this month. And it's just so pretty. I actually mix them together. I don't use them on their own. But you definitely could if you wanted more of a pinky highlight versus a golden highlight. But I tend to just mix them together. And yeah, so I've been using that a lot. And the last face product that I've been using a lot is my Benefit Rockateur blush. And I heard so many people raving about it. And I love rose gold as a color. So I was like, I need to pick up this blush. And I love Benefit's blushes. I want to collect all of them. I already have um, three other ones. I've just been using it like nobody's business. Like, it's just so pretty. Um, I actually have it on today. And it's just the perfect fall color. And it gives a nice glow to your skin. So if you don't want to use a highlighter, you don't have to. So I really like this. It's a definite must-have this month. Now for eyes, I have two eyeliners. One is my L'Oreal Liquid Intense Carbon Black Liquid Eyeliner. And this is by far my favorite liquid eyeliner. It has the felt tip to it. It is so black. It does not like flake on me. It gives a nice clean crisp black line and it's just awesome. And it doesn't give like a it doesn't give that like um, waxy kind of wet look. It dries matte and yeah it's awesome. And if you haven't tried this you definitely need to go try it because it's my favorite liquid eyeliner that I've ever tried. So, that is one of my favorite eyeliners. The other one is my Stila Smudge Proof Waterproof Crayon Eyeliner in Lionfish, which is the brown one. Just normal brown. It does have... Um, it's not matte. It kind of has a golden coppery type finish to it. I don't even know if you guys will be able to pick it up on camera, but it's not matte. It definitely has somewhat of a sparkle to it. Um, but I've absolutely been loving this stuff just to line right under um, my bottom lash line, and then I go over it with a matte powder, and it just stays all day. So I really have been liking that. And then the last eye product that I have is an eyeshadow, and I think I even mentioned it last month, but I almost use it on a daily basis now ever since I got it, because it is such a great crease color. And this one is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, and they're like $5.99 on the website, but it's so pretty, it's just like the perfect warm toned crease color. Um, I either go between warm or cool depending. Like today I have more of a cooler brown in my crease. I have taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette in my crease.
But if I'm looking for a warmer crease color, I always gravitate towards this because it's like the perfect color. I take my big fluffy Sigma brush and I just go all up in my <laughs> crease with it. And it's just perfect. So I've been loving that. Now for lip products, which are my last makeup products. I've really been using my chapstick a lot lately. And this one is the cake batter one. And I really didn't need chapstick at all because I have so many of them. But the cake batter sold me. And anytime I see cake batter or anything, I have to have it because it smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, but I've been pretty much, when I moisturize my face before I put my makeup on, I'll put some of this stuff on. Um, I've been carrying it with me if I don't feel like wearing a lipstick or lip gloss, and I'll just put this on and it kind of gives a glossy effect. So yeah, I've definitely been liking my cake batter chapstick. But if I do feel like wearing a lipstick, I've been going towards two different ones. One is my Urban Decay and Native lipstick, which looks like that. And that's the swatch of it. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. They're long wearing. It gives a somewhat of a glossy finish. So you either can or cannot add a gloss if you want to or not. Um, normally I don't because it gives kind of a glossy effect to it so then the next lipstick is a MAC lipstick and this one is Angel and it looks like that and they're really close in color but this one's a little bit of a lighter pink but super pretty Absolutely love them. So those are the two lipsticks I've been wearing an awful lot. And over Max Angel, if I don't wear it just by itself, which most of the time I do, but if I decide I want it to be a little bit more glossier, I've been using my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Boulet, which looks like that. It's more of the nudie color from the collection. Um, but it kind of has a pinkish salmon type undertone to it. So, I've been liking that over Angel lately. Um, if I decide to wear a gloss. So, yeah, that is all my makeup favorites. But I do have one last favorite. So, my last favorite has been Halloween. And I have loved doing Halloween tutorials this year. Um, it's a lot funner because I have a better quality camera than I've had before. And I was able to do, I believe, six different looks this year. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I just love playing dress up, like all the false lashes and all the pretty accessories and playing around with different wigs and stuff like I've loved doing the Halloween videos for you guys and I will link each of them down below in the description box that way if you haven't seen them you can go and check them out maybe we'll give in you guys some inspiration for next year or maybe you just like watching Halloween tutorials but I definitely had a really fun time filming all them and if you did watch them, I hope you guys enjoyed them because I had a lot of fun filming them. And I'm excited for next year. And yeah, that is basically all my favorites from this month. So I hope you guys had a great October and Halloween. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.